Hello there, Erunar here and today we will talk about Sparta and how to play it competitively in multiplayer battles. In Sparta, uh, the main focus of these units are light spear runners together with Lacolian Hillmen. These are perfect flankers. So they are very fast or very scary you will be winning battles because of the flanking. To support these guys you will want to use some kind of front line. Uh, heroic axe warriors are solid, they are not the best but they will hold the ground. Similarly you can choose between shielded spearmen and lacolean swordsmen or maybe armored spearmen. Then we always want to bring uh, chariots uh, depending on the map, for example in this map uh, Chariot will have a good opportunity and we also will have opportunity to flank around hidden. Then as part uh, you can bring Cyclops if you want because of their Boulder Toss ability and this I recommend to use uh, this ability to lure enemy out. And for hero, I recommend to choose the Fighter Ravager because of the Blood Sacrifice and Terrify. Okay, we got remaining funds, we can uh, choose something to uh, skirmish a little bit. And we need some units to hold ground, maybe we can go with... Black one. Mm -hmm. Let me check... Yeah. We can go with army like this. Uh, alternatively, uh, another solid unit to recommend you are these renowned Laconian Axemen. If the map was more open, I would choose these guys, but since we are going to fight in uh, choke points, it might be uh, better to go with um, some kind of front line and bring more. Huh, do we want more skirmishers? Yes. So this would be quite standard average uh, army composition for Mycenae. As always, you can bring Spartoi, they are very strong, very good chargers, much better or more useful than Axe Champions. And which other unit is also good? Uh, the Shield Spearman with 9 XP's are an interesting unit to bring. And for missiles, you can choose upgrades of Echian Slings. They are not going to win your battles, but, but they are nice. Okay, and now let's quickly show what would be the battle plan for this kind of army composition against uh, your opponents which you will meet. So we got a nice center. In center we will want to have some heavy. Oh. Okay, let's start like this. I always bring chariot either this flank or maybe on this side probably this side is better because chariot will be able to go this way or this that way then what else we want to have to utilize our cyclops maybe if enemy will be somewhere here our cyclops will be throwing boulder here or alternatively we can decide to deploy here on this open field and provoke enemy to go against us. For the sake of the video, let's decide the battle will be in the middle. We need our frontline there. We need some skirmishing also there. And we will want to use these swords on these sides. Then we got our mighty light spear runners. Let me show you 
why are they so s s scary or strong? They have 61 speed. They have stalk. Enemy will not see this kind of force going his way. And let's let's flank with both sides, not just one. We are going to use our Lacuna and Hillman. Uh, let's use one as support. The other will be here together with Chariot. So, if we look at the map, uh, one group of invisible uh, allied speedrunners are going through the mud to go behind. Then th this second group, this uh, Lacuna Hillman might be visible, but one light speedrunner from the behind will be invisible and we got chariot to help if needed. Our goal will be to bring them here to the flank. Uh, meanwhile our army can advance together to make a defensive position. Our shielded access will hold for long and we don't rush into the battle. We use cyclops to make enemy to come to us lure him out so that would be a game plan for the Sparta also we need our hero to be supporting us as well to bring our blood sacrifice and terrify enemy frontline as well so the Sparta is very versatile very Flanking, focused, and very strong in multiplayer battles. That would be it. See you later.